tell them your story. Now this passage comes at the end of the account when Jesus cast the demon and said that the man referred to his legion. And when the men begged to go with Jesus, that's what Jesus told them to do, was go and tell your story. Now I don't have any fantastic stories to tell like this man must have had, but I do have stories of what Jesus has done and is doing in my life. One of those stories really began for me about three and a half years ago. Now it was around this time that we got a new minister at our church. God really started using him to challenge me. I remember one of the things that he had to say was that it's time to come out of the wilderness and take on the ministry that God has for you. And anybody that knows me knows that I spent a lot of time in my canoe in some very remote areas of the county. And so that really spoke to me. That I really got to come out and start doing the things that God would have me to do. Now in the spring of 2012, a neighbor came to me and said he had to go to Halifax for a few days to have some medical tests done. And he needed someone to stay with him and he asked if I'd be willing to go along for a few days. And I said, absolutely. So the time came and the two of us headed off to the city. And it was a Saturday morning, I remember dropping him off at the hospital. And then I had a better part of half a day to spend with myself just doing a few errands that I had to do around the city. And I turned the radio station on to CGLU, which is a Christian radio station there. And Jeff Lutz was broadcasting from an event called Jesus to the Nation, which was happening at Mount St. Vincent University. And as I spent my day taking care of my errands and listening to, to what was going on there, I really felt moved by what was going on there. And I knew that God was speaking to me, and he knew that that was something that I should be part of. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't be there that day, but so fast forward one year to the spring of 2013. And our minister mentions at church that Jesus to the nation is coming up in Halifax in a couple of weeks' time. And I really knew that's the one place I just had to be. God was telling me I had to be there. I don't know why, but I just knew that that's where he wanted me to go. Not really wanting to go up by myself, I contacted the minister and asked him what his plans were. And he said he was going to drive up Saturday morning, spend a day, and then come around back Saturday evening. So I thought that sounded perfect to me, so him and I headed off. And while we were there, we were looking around at all these different booths from all these different ministries around the world and all the things that people are doing to spread the gospel message to really all, all parts of the world. And it's at that time I came across the booth for Galcom International. And so as soon as I thought I knew that's what God wanted me to do, and that's the ministry that God wanted, needed me to be part of. So when I got home, I contacted Galcom and told him what God has been doing in my life, that I felt that he was calling me to be part of our ministry. And that brings me to today, Thursday, October 26, 2013. And on November 20th, there's a trip planned to go to Haiti where myself and two other men will be going down to do work on a radio station there. And I ask that you would pray that God would protect us and give us the time and the abilities to get the work done that needs to be done 